So it's good that you're here because the time has come now for us to start talking about composite functions. And this is part one and we'll do a number of uh, videos on composite functions. And um, I want to tell you already before we start is that you will probably feel some intimidation at the beginning, yeah? which is a normal feeling if you're learning, okay? Some frustration, oh, I can't do this. Yeah, most students think composite functions uh, are a little bit scary, but once they start to do a couple of those questions themselves, actually they notice, and so will you, that you can do this, okay? So just stick to it. Now I'd like to remind you of the following. If we have the function fx equals, let's do 3x minus seven, and so we have the function where x is the variable of 3x minus seven. We evaluated functions before, for instance, what if we plug in 5 for x, so we evaluate the function now for x is 5, so we get 3 times x is 3 times 5 minus 7, which is 15 minus 7, and the answer to that would be 8. Remember doing that? Okay, and then we went to the next step and we said, yeah, okay, well now let's evaluate it, not for a numerical value like 5 or 12, but let's do, I don't know, for instance, 4x plus 1. So rather than x, now we're going to substitute 4x plus 1 in the function. That then becomes 3 times x, so 3 times 4x plus 1, minus 7. And then we expand those brackets at 12x plus 3, minus 7. And then we get 12x minus 4. Okay. Now we evaluated the function f for x is 5, and then we evaluate the function fx for, for x plus 1. Okay. Now, especially this second part is important when we start to talk about composite functions now. Where I'm just going to rewrite the function f, 3x minus 7. But now we have another function, let's call it g. And g is 4x plus 1. Okay, and they're going to ask me now, what is f g x? And that is a composite function, yeah? It consists out of f and g. And what does this mean? This means the composite function is that you have to plug in the function g inside f for x. Well, that's a lot of language. Now, what does that mean if I write it down? I have to put in g into f for x. Now, what is g? g is 4x plus 1. So I'm going to put this one in f, yeah, so 4x plus 1 for x. So what is that going to get me? 3 times x, so 3 times 4x plus 1 minus 7, yeah. So I put the function g in f for x, okay. 12x plus 3 minus 7, 12x minus 4. So that is actually similar to what you've been doing before, yeah, where you were evaluating the function f and they give you 4x plus 1 yeah, for it to evaluate, it, uh, yeah, you have to plug it in. But now that is similar, but now they give you a second function and they ask you, plug that function into the function f. Yeah, and the notation is fgx. So that second letter, you put it inside the first function. 4x. Okay, now um, let's go to the next video for, for some more examples on composite functions.